I think it was, I had a tough career. I had a lot of ups and downs. Um, many people might know that I do a lot of work for mental health today because four years before the Calgary Olympics, I suffered from a depression. And in the early 80s, the stigma of mental health was at its highest. And it was a very difficult time for me. Um, a lot of people kind of, you know, didn't know how to handle it, didn't know how to approach it. And at that time, it, it was a it was it was almost a tragedy to my family because they weren't sure how to deal with the situation and I was really really blessed um, many people in the sporting world will know who Dr. Terry Orlick is he's one of the most amazing sports psychologists in the country started working with me and he brought me back down into a place in my life where I forgot that I loved skating it became so intense in the competition and the expectations and you know, you're not representing yourself anymore. You're representing this incredible country of Canada. And for that on a, a, a young girl's shoulders was a lot, a lot of weight. And he really progressively worked with me and got me through so much in my life that by the time I got back on the ice, I knew what I really wanted and that was the Olympics. And my whole journey to the Olympics wasn't so much about winning the medal, but it was about the passion for the sport. And I truly believe if you love something enough, you can be successful and I think the Elizabeth Manley story is so much more than that silver medal in Calgary that night I think it was a triumph in life and it was to show people that you you can break all barriers and you can succeed in whatever you want to do